What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our H studio. Today we're taking a look at three portfolio covers that you can make that look super good. I'm gonna teach you guys what are the main things that you wanna look out for for each one of these. Let's get started. Before we get going, I just wanna announce that we are starting a new website where we're going to be putting all these portfolios and templates on. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. If it's already in the description below, then take a look. We're going to start by creating a new document and I'm going to change the units to inches, eight and a half by 11 uh, portrait page. I'm checking off the facing pages. We just wanna make one single layout here. And the secret here, guys, is I'm going to change the margins all the way up to 7.5. I find that it gives me a lot cleaner of a document because all the images and the text have more space to breathe. Now let's start off with the easy one. So this one, we're going to start with layouts, create guides. I'm just gonna make 10 different rows. That's all you need to do is make 10 rows. And the first thing we're going to do is just pick one of the middle ones. And then we're going to start right here and just type in portfolio. Use your favorite font. If mine is Sophia Pro, I'll be using that. And I wanna use more of a standard font here. So this is not too bold, not too thin. So regular or medium is usually good. But the secret here, guys, is you want this to be long because you wanna put an image underneath. So I'm gonna change the kerning and a lot of this comes down to the kerning. I'm gonna make it 100 and I'm also gonna make this text a lot bigger. So not too big, I feel like 36 is actually perfect. And I figured out that I've spelled portfolio wrong. Then we're going to go left or sorry, right justify that. And it looks pretty good. We might make it go down just a little bit so that it's hitting that margin a little bit more. And then we're going to hit Alt, drag that all the way down. And then for the bottom one, what we're going to be putting is what are we doing this portfolio for? So for example, if this is a landscape or urban design portfolio, we can do that. And I'm going to make this a way smaller font. So these two are done. We have that right here. You can bold one of these if you want to make one of them stand out. Okay, great. So now I am looking at this, it's a little bit squished. So I'm going to move these up to one margin above and let's see if these guys can actually rest on that margin. So let me do that. I just double clicked it to shrink it to its box. And yeah, there we go. So the image wants to basically take up at least two of these rows. And the trick here is to make your image as big as how much you have the where the P starts basically. So here I can see it's a little bit larger than what I want. So I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit. And then the images that work well with these really clean, really modern portfolio covers are line drawings. So if you have line drawings, drag these guys in, you know, fit them in and they'll look really, really good. On the bottom here, it's time to basically put your name. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the title again. We're gonna place it on the bottom of that margin and then we're going to put our name. If our name is Bob Joe, I don't know, I just made that up. If your name is Bob Joe, leave your comment in the description. I would love to see it. And we're gonna make this a lot smaller so we don't want this to read but we're still making it bigger than that text over there so double click that and then we're going to move that to the bottom what i do like to do is just move this up so that they kind of are lying right on top of one another just gives it a cleaner look and obviously adjust this as you like if you think the image is a little bit small obviously make it a little bit bigger but really depends on the image that you have. Uh, press W just to preview it. So there we go. That's a nice clean portfolio cover for you. Super easy to do. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, are you still a pirate sailing the seas with your Adobe subscription? Well, maybe it's time to get the actual one because of all the new AI tools that's coming out. You can save a lot of time just by using generative AI, which is available in the Adobe cloud if you have a subscription. So if you want to support the channel, I have a link down in the description where you can get that. And for the low price of two avocado toes, I feel like it's pretty justified. So if you wanna pick that up, link in the description and you'll be supporting the channel. Okay, for the second one, we're doing the same thing. We have the exact same guides, 10 on this page, and it's going to rely on one line that goes straight down the middle of your page from margin to margin. I'm gonna give it a nice black color uh, for the stroke, and there we go. So make sure that it's actually in the middle. Your smart guys will tell you that. When it snaps to the middle and you can press W and kind of just gauge that it is in the middle, you're good to go. Next, we're dragging a text box around here and you can make sure that it's right on the margin, but I'm gonna go ahead and type portfolio. 
and this time it's not going to be all caps. I'm changing it to my favorite font, which is Sophia Pro, and I'm actually making this a semi-bold. I want this to be kind of big. So last time we used 36 for uh, where we said portfolio, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. And again, guys, tracking is key, okay? We're gonna be changing this into something like 100, um, and we're going to make this right justified. And you wanna leave a little bit of space between the line and where your portfolio says portfolio. Uh, and then on the bottom, you're gonna just drag a text box and type in what this is for. And I'm gonna make this super small once again. So we have our portfolio on the top, architecture, urban design, looking great. On the bottom, we wanna put our name and all the rest of the information. So dragging this guy down, we're also leaving some space. We're gonna go ahead and left justify this because it's on the right side of the page. And we're going to type in our name. And for this one, we're actually gonna want our name to be a little bit lighter. So we want this to be in a lighter font like this, okay? And I just, I'm looking at this now, I wanna move this to the right a little bit more. And then we're going to separate it with another thin line right where the margin is, all the way to the end there. I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool, which is I, to just eyedropper that so that there is a line right there. Great. And then on the bottom of this, we are going to copy this guy and write down what the select work is. And then again, we want to make this super small just so it looks really clean on the page. All right, great. And then we can move that down to that margin. And wow, that looks really good. The last touch we're going to add onto this is we're going to give it a little bit of a box. Now you can play around with this guy. You can give it a little bit of a color. If your portfolio has a really uh, dominant color, you can put that in. Uh, but basically what you can do is just indicate where the text are, indicate where your eye needs to go. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom. So I'm copying it with Alt, and then I'm basically moving it to the margins just so people know like, hey, focus right here. And there you go, you got a really clean and really beautiful portfolio cover right here. Okay, for the last one, it's more about being bold, bold colors, bold font, bold image. You really wanna show off, you know, you wanna stand out from the pile portfolio. So, going to layouts one more time, we're creating guides. We're not doing 10 this time, we're doing five. So I don't change any of the other settings. We're just doing five different numbers of rows. Go ahead and click okay. Next, we're dragging our principal image in. So a big image that you think represents your portfolio and we're doing it all the way to that bottom margin there. I'm going to go select this and a trick I like to do is to just give this a little bit of space. We want it to anchor to one side. So this is the bottom left. I feel like that is the best way to do this. Um, but you know, feel free to play around with this. Next, you're going to drag your image in. So whatever image you think represents your portfolio or is something that you wanna showcase on your front page. I'm gonna drag this all the way to the left here. Next, we're going to do our name on the top. So drag a text box as we've done with all the other ones and write your name. Um, and we're going to make it into our favorite fonts. And then we're going to go ahead and make this bold. So we're making this into something bigger, maybe like a 36. If you want it even bigger, totally go for it. And on the bottom, we're writing our select works. And then again, we're making this super small and we're making this a regular font. I don't like the super small, uh, similar to the other one. So I'm gonna make this just a tiny bit bigger, maybe a 14. And then the next thing is we're gonna write portfolio, but on the side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this guy, drag it all the way down. And then when I see this rotate, I'm gonna hit shift just so it rotates orthogonally. And then I'm gonna write portfolio. Oh, I spotted right. Okay, nice. Going to go ahead and drag this out a little bit. We want this to be a lot bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it something like a 60. Uh, now, depending on the color and the composition of your background image, we're gonna be changing this guy so that it actually makes sense. So because the background of my image is a lot darker, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a lighter font, so white. All right, next we're going to go into the effects panel over here. If you guys don't have this, you can go into window and just check on the effects panel. So after you do that, make sure you selected the text object. We're gonna give it a inner shadow. And so here you can see that it's not really looking good because it's a little bit too deep. So we're gonna adjust the distance here. Oh, so that it goes the other way. And it looks like there's kind of like an indent to the whole thing, okay? So after we find something that looks good, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I like to change the blending mode into something like a hard light. So that looks pretty good to me. We'll move on and write 
uh, a little bit of a caption here just to round out the page. So I can go ahead and just copy that text, rotate it again, and then we're going to write what this portfolio is for. So if this is a, another architecture and urban design portfolio, we can write that and just leave it on the side. If you want to, you can also add a little bit of a flare. So uh, if you want, you can add something like a box and give it, you know, a, a color that you think will pop out. Um, you can add other things like a ellipse, like a circle just around the corner, give it a little red. Just make sure that whatever you're adding interacts with the image and it should blend pretty well into the overall composition. So I hope you guys enjoyed those three very easy to make templates. If you learn anything, leave your comment down in the description. Make sure you subscribe, follow, and share with your friends. I will see you guys in the next one.